We are back, wrestling fans, ready for our main event of the evening. Introducing first, there is my broadcast partner, Disco Inferno. He'll be teaming up with the elite champion, Sean Ricker, who he helped a few weeks back in defeating Remy Marcel, who is going to be teaming up with a man from Germany we don't know much about other than Alex Wright has sent him to take out Disco Inferno, Dino Benelli, and his name is the VIP. VIP, the new European champion for Alex Wright's great company out there. And tonight he's come to FSW, he's come to the United States specifically to get in Disco's face and teaming up with Remy Marcel tonight. Oh, it's going to be a great match. I can't wait. And look at Disco. He's got some uh, new tights. He is looking in phenomenal shape, Dino Donnelly. We've been seeing him here down at the FSW training facility over the last couple of months after he uh, lost to Remy Marcel, where he swore that Remy Marcel, if they wrestled 100 times, couldn't beat him once. Well, they wrestled once, and now Disco Inferno really has an issue and has been looking to take out Remy Marcel ever since. Joe, something I haven't seen since even his WCW days, Disco Inferno appears to be focused. Once and for all, he appears to be focused. And that's only an addition to FSW, and there he is, the elite champion, Sean Ricker, who has been outstanding as the elite champion, and he's now held the belt, uh, the close to five months now, Dino Dinelli. He's taken on uh, all comers. Uh, defeated uh, former Ring of Honor champion Roderick Strong, just to name a few. And he has defeated Remy Marcel. And he's got a win, you know, under uh, his match on Remy, who came in after defeating guys like Kenny King and Michael Myers. Well, I'll tell you, this man here is professional wrestling, wrestling personified. Look at him. Look at his attitude. Look at his physique. He has a physique. This guy was raised on mashed potatoes and apple pie. And Sean Ricker uh, sporting the new FSW Elite Championship belt right there, Dino Dinelli. Outstanding looking uh, belt. Well, of course, and it looks even more outstanding because I'll tell you what, Sean Ricker does the belt justice. And there he is representing New European Wrestling. VIP, he is a big man, almost six foot four, two hundred and sixty pounds. Uh, we've seen some footage of him, outstanding talent, a uh, little bit of a loose cannon in New European wrestling, but he has been sent specifically to take out Disco Inferno. And because of the situation what happened with Remy Marcel and Sean Ricker last time out, we here at FSW decided to make it a tag team match. And Remy Marcel is uh, very excited to have the VIP as his tag partner. Well, anytime you have a champion from Europe coming to the United States and stopping here at FSW, you know there's some reason. Something is going on. This might be bigger than what we see right here on the level, Joe. But, and as you can hear already, the fans are in an uproar. You know, anytime Remy Marcel steps into the squared circle, the FSW fans just go crazy for this. This guy is the reigning most popular wrestler in the history of FSW. Joe, three years now, the fans just adore this guy. No matter where he is or what he's doing, they're crazy about him. You know, and here's a guy who was our first No Limits champion. He held the No Limits title longer than any belt holder in FSW one year and six months. And the amazing thing is he has gotten more and more popular without any title, Dino Dinelli. He has just become extremely, extremely popular with the fans. And as you said, uh, Disco, uh, not many fans for him. Well, going back to Remy, that's just a testimony to exactly how great this guy is. I had an opportunity recently to sit down and talk to this young man. He is one of the most intelligent, brilliant, and really interesting people to talk to. As far as Disco is concerned, you know, Disco and I are not really big fans of each other, but basically, let me just say, he is the reason I tuned into WCW years ago. It wasn't the NWO. They were flippant, if anything. Disco and Frenos antics of what I wanted to see. Basically, he's not a great technical wrestler, but his antics were something I always wanted to see. And, you know, you look at uh, VIP, if you weren't sure about his height, I think Disco, who is about 5'10", 5'11", I think he barely got up to his uh, up to his neck. Well, he's a statuous young man, and he's quite athletic, and he actually seems to have that wrestling per per persona. So, basically... Um, I'm thinking a lot from VIP. Hopefully, this will not be the only time we see him here in FSW. Uh, hopefully not. And there he is uh, reversing it on Disco Inferno. Obviously, some uh, 
moves that he uh, learned from his trainer, Alex Wright, who uh, him and uh, Disco have had a love-hate love -hate relationship for about 15 years. Well, it's, it's supposed to show that Alex Wright wasn't feeling the same thing Disco Inferno was feeling. Alex Wright was glad to be away from Disco Inferno. And the mere fact that some 15 years later, Alex Wright and Disco are you know, going at each other again from a distance. Disco calling a timeout as uh, VIP looks like he gets the best of them early on. Uh, VIP uh, definitely with the strength, power advantage. Obviously, the ring savvy has to go to Disco Inferno, a man who's been in this business uh, more than 15 years. You know, former WCW uh, television champion as well as a cruiserweight champion. Uh, he held the belt even though he didn't win the belt. Uh, as Alex Wright mentioned, uh, Disco wasn't there the night that Boogie Nights won the uh, tag team titles. And look at that, a little, uh, looks like a little Alex Wright dance from uh, VIP. Well, you know, I'm sure Alex has really rubbed off on him. I mean, Alex Wright was a champion in his own right, and, and, you know, in his days here in America, and now in New European wrestling, you know, I'm sure he's bringing all his talent and all his uh, knowledge to everything they have in uh, New European wrestling. Look at this, and uh, Sean Ricker just coming out, firing bombs at Remy Marcel, pounding away. Uh, no feeling out process between these two guys. Joe DeFalco, don't you just love watching Sean Ricker in action? Unbelievable. You know, definitely one of the most outstanding talents here in FSW. Beautiful move by Remy Marcel. You know, it's no surprise that uh, Sean Ricker had a TNA tryout about three weeks ago. And, you know, his, his phone is buzzing from promoters around the world who want to see Sean Ricker uh, in their wrestling promotion. And we have him right here in FSW. So that's another testimony to exactly how great we are here in FSW. All the great talent is migrating to FSW every single week. And, of course, speaking of uh, talent, the Young Bucks are returning tonight, 5 p.m. They're coming right in, and they're going after the Hater Nation. The tag titles are on the line. The Ring of Honor superstars, Young Bucks, former TNA stars, they will be here. Uh, Davari is back, the leader of the enemies of the state. He has a major announcement that he is going to be making at the show. So make sure you check us out, FSW Arena, 6658 Boulder Highway, as Disco Inferno is just pounding away at Remy Marcel outside the ring as VIP is trying to help. And referee Mike Toomey uh, admonishing VIP and not seeing what was going on behind his back. Well, B.I.P., actually a great tag team partner, trying to get into the help from me, Marcel, but he was thwarted in his efforts by the great Mike Toomey, one of our finest referees here in FSW, Joe. And a nice neck breaker by Disco Inferno. Uh, where's Toomey to get rid of uh, one of these two guys? There was two guys in the ring for five seconds, and Disco Inferno is feeling real good about himself, dancing in the middle of the match, but Remy trying to fire away. But there is Disco with the big elbow, and look at that, Disco Inferno. Mocking as he always does. You know, Joe, if I didn't know better, I would think this match was from July 4th, for gosh sakes. I mean, we know it isn't, but look at this goes uh, Very colorful, out very colorful disco inferno. Uh, you know, why don't, you, why don't we dress the referees in that garb there? I know, think that would be great, Joe. It would be. You know, that way we, you know, we, we would take people away from looking at Mike Toomey to actually check out the outfit. You yeah. know, Disco Inferno, his antics are always fun to watch. And his demeanor is always fun to watch. His wrestling technique, eh, not exactly what it should be, but at least he seems to get the job done here in FSW. Except when it comes to one Remy Marcelli. He hasn't been able to do the trick. Well, the big right hand. The crowd is chanting for the fro. They're trying to get behind Remy Marcel. They want to see a comeback. They want to see their favorite wrestler walk away with a victory. Look at this nice power slam by Ricker. One, two. But Remy Marcel picks up. The Falco, tell me something. You sit here all the time with Disco in front of him when he's not wrestling. Can you tell me, how could a guy from Brooklyn be an Atlanta Braves fan? How is that possible? Because he lived in Atlanta for a very long time. Due to WCW. It ain't kosher, Joe. It ain't kosher. One, two. And once again, Sean Ricker trying to put away Remy Marcel once and for all. You know, Joe, I think that there's one wrestler here in FSW that will always stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sean Ricca, and that is right there, Remy Marcel. He'll take no grief from anyone. He'll give no quota at any time. And no matter what is going on, he's in the match. Always usually two or three steps ahead of his opponent. 
Well, right now, these guys are slowing him down, and they are getting the best of Remy Marcel as VIP is kind of stuck on the ring apron, uh, looking for a tag from Remy Marcel. Well, VIP really concerned about his tag team partner. He's trying to get in. That's a great tag team partner. That's that European flair you have here in FSW. Right now with one man by the name of VIP. There it is. Well, Remy Marcel is just having uh, lots of problems. This one it looks like maybe he can uh, make a tag. Disco Inferno, the big boots in the midsection. And working well as a tag team today, Ricker and Remy. Oh, and look at this. They end up running into each other. Remy Marcel needs to make the tag. And then there it is. There is the VIP. Very cunning move on Remy Marcel's pod, Joe. Big elbow and a clothesline. Look at that, a big drop kick from the big man as Sean Ricker. And he was going for the belly to belly, and Ricker gets out of dodge real quick. And look at this, pretty quick tag back into Remy Marcel. Oh, and look at this. What now we know why. What in the world? The VIP just stunned not only Remy Marcel but the FSW arena and look at the big smile on Disco Inferno's face they played us all for fools Joe this was a very cunning plan on their part the cover look at Toomey disgusted one two three and there you have it Mike Toomey cannot believe it there's the VIP and look at this are you kidding me a big hug with, from Disco Inferno right out of the Dino Dinelli playbook I love that that was great wasn't that the old Dino Dinelli playbook oh I forgot yeah well maybe you know and look at this the VIP just lost the match and he is celebrating the newest entourage here in FSW, VIP from New European Wrestling, Sean Ricca, and Disco Inferno, the newly focused Disco Inferno. And look at this, Disco Inferno set it up. I don't know how he got to this guy, VIP. We're going to have to find out more information about it. But there you have it. They are the victors, Sean Ricca. And Disco Inferno. That is going to wrap it up for us at High Octane. Dino Danelli, thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Cheers, oh, cheers, cheers, cheers to Macon. Cheers. Hey, hey, here's the Macon. Remy Marcel look like an idiot. <laughs> all right, I'll do that. And here's the German beer, everybody. Oh, okay. oh well. that good. Hey, you all want to know what just happened right Ladies there? Will the man Dennis please. flew into town the other night and ended up in Club X. Me and Sean Ritterly all those guys say, hey, you know what? This guy doesn't know us. We don't know him. Let's show him a good time. We're popping bottles. We took him to the VIP. We took him to the strip clubs. How'd you like those lap dances, buddy? Oh, like brother, those lap it's silly. It's not. Get away from the candy store. Isn't that for you? Hey, right, Sean, you're going to have a good time, baby. A little extra on top. You throw in a couple bucks, you get what you're looking for. But as far as I can tell, it wasn't Das Dummy tonight. Not in my fine spine. No, no, no. No, no. No, because we're drinking the best beer. Yeah. We know what we're doing. <laughs> and Remy Marcel, well, it's game over, dummy. Let me tell you something. You were so right about Alex Dummy, right? What is stupid church? Yeah, Ronald Rick. It's so much fun around here. You consider moving to LA. Over to Vegas, baby. Hey, you can see a shot place. Oh, oh yeah. Und Alex ist noch für dich. Ja, Tosa. Noch ein kurzer Schliegerschluck. What he said. Oh, ja. Hat die Leitung nicht so geklappt, wie du das vorstellst? Im Übrigen habe ich auch mit meinen Anwälten mal gesprochen und dieser Schwachsinn mit Suspendierung, ich müsste erst jemanden verletzen oder gar wehtun, damit ich wieder zurückkommen kann, der ist Schwachsinn. Der ist Schwachsinn. Hast du mich nicht so viel Quincy gesehen? Aber jetzt wieder Good One, eh? Good One. Speaking perfect German. Jetzt die Realität. VIP, the better one. NEW, Swishes Impact Power. Es wird am 6. Oktober. 6. Oktober. Bei NEW. Hope Exklusiv 2. Darauf mein Wort. Und. You know what people say? Breaking necks and cashing checks. <laughs> Come on, buddies. Prost! Achtung, Achtung, hier ist VIP. <laughs> das ist der Bust. Oh, baby, come on, come on. That's right. That's right. That's right. Let's do it all again. Let's do it all.